They charge how much for this? Sunday Cologne by Byredo is the woody aromatic fragrance for women and men. It was launched in 2011 and has an MSRP of $270 for 100 milliliters. The top notes are bergamot, star arise, and cardamom. The middle notes are lavender, geranium, and incense. And the base notes are vetiver, oak moss, and patchouli. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. $279 for something that doesn't even last two hours on my skin. That is disgusting. What the hell? By Rado. Their brand is all about minimalistic packaging. And as it turns out, they're about minimalistic performance. Uh, I don't know what to say. This is this is this is downright unacceptable for the price that you're paying and for what you can get elsewhere at this same price point. This is like this doesn't even compete. Wouldn't even cross my mind to recommend this fragrance. The only way I could forgive this lack of performance is if the scent itself was so amazing, so incredible, it was so unique that you had to have it for that one special occasion. Case in point. The one, EDP, EDT, Dolce & Gabbana, it, it, it's, it's a fantastic, it's probably the best setting scent out there. It's not too expensive, but it only lasts two to four, maybe six hours, depending on the person. I can get behind that because it's so intoxicatingly good. It's tobacco, it's warm, it's sexy, it's sweet. It's, it's, it's the best. This is nothing special. This is fresh, clean, somewhat sweet, somewhat warm, and that's it. It's got bergamot, it's got cardamom, it's got lavender, and it's warm, and it's okay, and it's, it smells nice. That's it, that's it. What are you paying for other than the name? Uh, performance, no. A unique note like oud, ambergris, uh, or rose, no. So there's, there's no reason to, to spend this much on this fragrance. It's, it's clearly price gouging. When you first spray this on, and don't sneeze, because you're gonna miss it, right? Uh, it's very bright, it's very fresh. Bergamot, it's an explosion of bergamot. There's a bit of lavender. That patchouli is nice too, it comes out. It's, it's a green, fresh, very bright, very strong bergamot. The geranium is present there and the opening as well. But this becomes such a skin scent so early on that the opening is, is hard to appreciate. And then you have to bury your nose into it just to smell it. And then before you know it, it's gone. So it's hard to recommend this fragrance as a, a day scent or an office fragrance because you're not gonna be noticed by anyone. This is only a, a close encounter uh, fragrance where someone has to be in your neck to smell it. So that's a romantic partner or someone you're close with or on a date uh, and, and, and this is not a date fragrance. It's not very sexy, it's not very sweet, it's not very warm. This is not at all what I would wear on a date. So it really is limited in what you can, you can do with this fragrance. It's clean, it's, it's great for the office, it's great for a signature scent, it's pleasant, it's great for around the house, it's not going to give anyone a headache because no one's going to smell it. And otherwise, it's, yeah, you could, pretty cool for school if you're an older dude, but no one's going to smell it. And you're going to spend an arm and a leg for something that's going to go away in two hours and you're going to be forgotten about. And I have to remind myself that this is actually an EDP concentration. Like this could be an eau de cologne and I think some eau de colognes last longer than this. So usually, you know, an EDP, the, the higher concentration you go, the longer it lasts, but the closer the projection, because the alcohol is really what makes it project. This is neither. This doesn't project, this doesn't last. This is just, it's just on and by. And that's why they call it Byredo. It's, it's bygone. On to my final review. I rate fragrances in three different categories, the performance, the versatility, and the creativity. Performance gets a one out of 10, as I explained before. You're spending way too much money for the performance that you get. This is unacceptable. Pure and simple. I don't care what it is. Even if they had ambergris, even had real oud in this fragrance at this price point, for the performance you get, you can get so much better. There are $20 fragrances that will blow this out of the water performance wise. For versatility, this is a pretty versatile fragrance. The notes are very easy to like, they're very easy to pull off. They're, they're gonna work in a variety of situations and scenarios for several people. Uh, it's a unisex fragrance, but the fact that the performance is so damn poor it's not gonna be appreciated by anybody else but you. And even at that, you're gonna lose it very quickly. So I'm gonna give this, at best, this is being generous, a four out of 10. It has great potential, but the final product is just that far off. And finally, the creation, how the notes work together. 
the art form behind the fragrance. It's a good creation. There's nothing that stands out that is, is, is bad. There's nothing that is annoying. There's nothing that's sickening. But at the end of the day, for what you pay for, what you can get out there, these notes are, there's nothing special. Lavender could have been rose. Uh, bergamot could have been, you know, uh, it could have been grapefruit. And, uh, you know, you could have had some oud, some incense. Uh, perhaps even you know a, a unique fragrance note like like ambergris uh, or star fruit you know something that that really makes this stand out something that justifies a quite frankly $300 fragrance uh, and for what you can get from the likes of Tom Ford uh, the likes of Parfums de Marly Creed fragrance Dubois this is really just just falls off the mark entirely or even what you can get at a designer price point for 50 60 70 80 maximum $100. Dior Sauvage is just so much better than this at everything that it does. So yeah, that's it. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed, honestly. Pareto, you gotta do better. This is this is a poor showing for my first one in your house. So I don't know. Let me know. Sound off in the comments down below. Maybe it's just me. Maybe on you. This is a 12 hour scent. I doubt it. But who knows? Uh, if you're interested though, please click the link down below. It's gonna help support the channel. You can check out this one or hundreds of other fragrances at Scentbox and I'll hope to catch you in the next one. Cheers, guys.